An Introduction to Knowledge Translation, sponsored by the Canadian Partnership Against Cancer and brought to you by the Capacity Enhancement Program. Knowledge Translation, or KT, is a complex set of activities for moving knowledge generated from research into effective changes in health practice or policy. The reason for KT is to improve our health and our healthcare system using knowledge. KT is important because everybody, including patients, clinicians, and policymakers, wants the best health care possible. There are many things that need to happen to move knowledge into action. One way to try to understand the complexity of KT is to use a framework like the knowledge to action cycle. Let's go through the steps of the cycle. First is knowledge creation the triangle in the center called the knowledge funnel. As knowledge from primary research is filtered through the funnel, it is synthesized and refined to produce a knowledge tool, a summary of the knowledge presented in a clear, concise, user-friendly and implementable format. Surrounding the knowledge funnel is the action cycle. The first step in the cycle is to identify an important problem and then identify, select, and evaluate a knowledge tool that can be used to address that problem. You can identify a problem using administrative or clinical databases, health records, or research results. Then, find a knowledge tool like a practice guideline, an algorithm, or a patient decision aid that will help address your problem. Once a tool is selected for implementation, you need to make sure it is high quality. Luckily, there are many resources that can help you to evaluate the quality of knowledge tools. The next step is to assess whether the knowledge tool is usable in your context and adapt it to meet your needs. You need to consider the content of the knowledge tool, how current it is, and whether it's acceptable and applicable in your local setting. Then, you need to identify barriers that might prevent knowledge uptake. Barriers can be related to the knowledge tool itself, or the potential users, or the healthcare system. Ways to identify barriers include case studies, electronic or mailed questionnaires, focus groups, and conducting individual interviews with key stakeholders. The next step is to select an intervention and implement it to target those barriers so that the knowledge can be put into practice. You'll need to decide on the message, the target audience, the messenger, and the type of intervention you want to use. There are many types of interventions to choose from. Educational strategies, decision support tools like reminder systems, performance measurement, audit and feedback, opinion leaders, and patient-mediated strategies. The KT intervention strategy needs to be tailored to the context in which it will be used. Now, if you're going to spend lots of time and money to implement the knowledge, then you'll also want to monitor the knowledge uptake and evaluate whether it has an impact on health or system outcomes. You'll need to decide on what outcomes to measure, how to measure them, and when they should be measured. And of course, it's important to make sure the knowledge will continue to be used. It's important to plan and adapt the implementation strategy for sustainability because, as we all know, things are always changing. And that brings us back to the beginning of the cycle. We hope you'll find this framework helpful when you think about and practice KT. This has been a presentation by the Capacity Enhancement Program of the Canadian Partnership Against Cancer. For more information and useful tips and tools, please visit our website at www.cancerview.ca slash guidelines.